there is huge, important geopolitical news breaking right now that you will not hear on the mainstream media that will have global repercussions for U.S. foreign policy. Of course, you're going to hear it here on real, independent, unfiltered, unbiased media. You won't get it on the mainstream media for a very particular reason. Just moments ago, China declared its allegiance, its cooperation with Bashar al-Assad and the government of Syria. They have said that, quote, they are willing to strengthen cooperation with its Syrian counterparts and are now giving military training and aid to the pro-government Syrian forces. China will play a greater role in the future of Syria while the United States is left out. Syria, of course, is a huge divisive topic for the United States, whose main objective has been to get rid of Bashar al-Assad. China and Russia have been standing in the way, and they view Bashar al-Assad as a legitimate ruler and have blocked any resolution critical of the regime at the United Nations Security Council. This is happening right now because tensions between China and the United States are very high over the South Asian Sea Islands, where China is building its own own military base on. It is directly related to a major trade route. World War II in the South Asian Sea was fought over specific trade routes. These are important landmarks that China is building for themselves if there would be a potential future conflict between the United States and China. China of course, is not backing down, even though they lost in the international court, saying that these islands are not legitimate. China is still continuing their buildup. The United States is standing in their way, telling them not to do it. Meanwhile, the war hawks inside of China, inside of their military and government, are saying, well, you know what? We're going to prepare for a war at sea. The United States is answering back by posturing again, and they're showing their strategic power projection by doing a stunt in Guam near the South Asian Sea by flying the three types of bombers in that specific area. Again, posturing, showing China that they will not be backing down to the ultimatum of saying that, no, China, you cannot have a military base in this very key specific region. China's also not backing down, and now they're assisting Russia with Iran, with Iraq, and now even with Turkey, which is mind-boggling, because new documents have come out from Germany saying that, wait, Turkey is actually supporting and financing ISIS inside of Syria to get rid of Bashar al-Assad. It wasn't only Turkey, it was the United States, it was Saudi Arabia, it was Israel, whose main objective was to get rid of Bashar al-Assad. Turkey saw this as a way to gain influence and power in the region, and they have assisted ISIS with that alliance. But right now, President Erdogan went to Russia and visited Vladimir Putin, where they are making concessions and deals about the future of Syria without the United States. They shook hands and made economic deals that people say are worth a billion dollars. Because as we know, Russia put sanctions against Turkey for shooting down their military aircraft over the Turk and Syria's border. But now, Turkey is opening up their relations to Russia, and they're cooperating together and will be working with China to decide the future of Syria, where the United States clearly lost a key geopolitical battle in their proxy war against these world powers, especially now with China joining in. Russia is still continuing their bombing campaign of ISIS and of any rebel groups that threaten the Syrian government. They are doing this with the help of Iran, and they are landing aircraft in Iran. The United States is saying, well, this is a violation of the UN resolution, of the UN treaties that they have, and Russia does not care. Iraq is even opening up airspace for Russia in order to fly their missions inside of Syria with the cooperation of the Iranians. In the United States, the propaganda is extremely high with time saying Russia, Syria, and Iran, those are the new axes of evil. Well, they might as well join China on that list since China is working with all of these countries to decide the future of that very important country in that geopolitical region of the Middle East. The United States 
they have been faking reports, manipulating reports in order to misinform the public about ISIS. They are doing this because they have provided lethal aid to ISIS, to Daesh, to al-Qaeda terrorists inside of Syria with their main objective to get rid of Bashar al-Assad. We have gone into the many reasons why the United States and that alliance that they had with former Turkey, why they were doing it, which you could watch on our YouTube channel. But in Syria, it is an utter chaotic geopolitical mess, an utter foreign policy disaster created by the United States where armed Pentagon rebels are fighting armed CIA rebels. This makes no sense at all. This is what your tax dollars spent money on. And we have seen and documented countless number of times, even with pictures and video of ISIS fighters getting airdrops of military supplies from the United States to use against the government of Syria, to use against the government of Iraq. We have even seen Clinton emails revealing how the US government was using Google as a geopolitical weapon to overthrow Bashar al-Assad. So where is this all leading to with all of these major countries and all these major forces turning their back against the United States? Well, Russia is conducting their first armed train drills for the first time in 15 years. China, the war hawks in their country, they're saying prepare for a war at sea. This is disastrous. The United States will not have any major influence when it comes to deciding the future of Syria. They have failed internationally. Their relations with the world is at a very low point. And reporting from you in Hong Kong, talking to people from all over the world, I could corroborate that and tell you what people view the United States as it's not the same as we were viewed years and years ago. It is completely different. It's an utter geopolitical disaster that we're going to be covering. You won't hear this on a mainstream media because they want to divide and conquer you. They want to talk about sex and transgenders and Black Lives Matters and black and white and race and all these other distractions, Democrats and Republicans, even though it's really Florida and Pennsylvania and Ohio that are going to decide who's going to become president. They are here to distract you. And they have all the corporate government money to do so. We only have you. That's why if you go to patreon.com forward slash we are changed, giving $1 a month means the world to us and we'll continue our unbiased, unfiltered, independent work for you because it is created by you. Show your support, build us up, and we will do the job of the mainstream media so well that we will destroy them. There's a lot of important geopolitical news that has grave repercussions internationally. You will only hear it here. Subscribe, youtube.com forward slash we are change. We're going to have a lot more coming your way very soon.